Selecting and manipulating anchor points is an essential Adobe Illustrator skill. You select and manipulate anchor points using the direct selection tool. But before I select that tool, I'm just going to resize and maybe reposition this object because these are the sorts of things you do in Illustrator all the time. Now let's say I need to edit this shape. I don't want it to be a squared off rectangle anymore. The first thing I'll do is to select the direct selection tool. And notice as soon as I do that, the rectangle no longer shows the eight standard bounding box handles that you see when you have the object selected with the selection tool. You now see four anchor points, one at each corner, which define the shape of this rectangle. What is absolutely critical here is the interface detail. The four anchor points are solid, which means they are selected. Now, for example, if I position my cursor carefully on one of the anchor points, then press and drag, the entire object moves. Why? Because all the anchor points are selected. I'll click into some empty space to deselect everything. Remember, I'm still working with the direct selection tool. Next, I'll position my cursor back on the path, then I'll click to select it. Notice now that the four anchor points are hollow. They are not selected. I'll just position my cursor on one of the anchor points and I'll click to select it. You'll see it becomes solid. So I've now got one selected anchor point and the other three are not selected. It is essential that you can identify which anchor points you have selected and which are not selected when you're working with the direct selection tool. Now, if I position my cursor on the selected anchor point, then press and drag, you'll see that I am editing the shape of the original rectangle. Look for the interface detail, understand it, and you will develop the control you need to create innovative and interesting work in Illustrator. I can select more than one anchor point at a time if I need to, either with one anchor point selected, I can hold down the shift key, then click on an additional anchor point. When I reposition one of the anchor points, the other selected anchor point also moves. I'll click in some empty space to deselect. You can also marquee select multiple points. Two last points to finish off. When you've got an anchor point selected, you can press the arrow or cursor keys on the keyboard to nudge the anchor point in one point increments. That's very useful when you're fine tuning an illustration. Also, if you start to drag an anchor point, then hold down the shift key, and the sequence is important there, start to drag, then hold on the shift key. You can constrain the movement of the anchor point either vertically, horizontally, or at an angle of 45 degrees. Excellent. The time has come. The walrus said to like the like if you like, and or subscribe to my channel for more structured step-by-step -step tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you soon.